it's Liv. Today I have three more vegan breakfast ideas for you. Like my last video, these ones are perfect for weekends when you have a little bit more time on your hands. And if you do celebrate Christmas, these are perfect Christmas morning breakfast ideas. So this video is sponsored by the app Vegan Amino, which is basically just a app that is dedicated to all things vegan. So as you can see, this is the front page of the app and you can just go on the front page and you'll find everything from like recipes to um, articles that people post and it's kind of like Tumblr, how you can repost things to your own feed. There's also these public chats so you can like find, for example, vegans who like dancing and traveling. And then if you go to my profile, which is at Lives Healthy Life, of course, um, you can see the things that I repost. So I reposted a few recipes today that I thought looked really, really amazing. So there is no bake vegan chocolate cake, which is super easy and it uses Weetabix, which I actually have in my cupboard. So I'm gonna go make this after I film this. And then there's also these nachos that look so good. And they look like something that you can get in a restaurant, but this person just made them. And you can definitely go check that out. If you wanna download the app, I will put the link in the description box. And don't forget to follow me, Lives Healthy Life. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. This vegan eggnog french toast is one of my more genius ideas. So you basically only need two ingredients. The first thing you need is some good quality bread. And I like to use mine after it's been sitting on my counter for a couple days so it's like a little bit stale. And then you need some vegan eggnog. So I just use the So Delicious Holiday Nog. And it is vegan. <laughs> so you're just going to pour that in a shallow bowl or a plate like I did. And then if you want, you can add some butter or coconut oil to a frying pan and just dip the bread super quickly. Don't let it soak in the eggnog. And then you're just going to put it in the pan once it's hot and fry it until it's crispy on one side and then you just need to flip it over and cook it until it's crispy on the other side. So as you can see, this is probably the easiest French toast you could ever make and my boyfriend and I both agree that this is even better than regular French toast. It is just so good and super festive if you want to make it on Christmas morning. So for the potato skillet, the first thing you need to do is just peel and chop some potatoes. Um, just use however many you think you need. And I cut mine into pretty small chunks so that it would just cook faster. And then you need to cook them so you could either boil them or microwave them. I think boiling them is the easiest. And then you are going to add a little bit of oil into a pan and then add in the chunks of cooked potato. Then I added in some green onion, some turmeric, and some smoked paprika. You can also add some salt and pepper at this point if you want. Then I just added some of this crispy coconut bacon and this gives it a super nice smoky flavor. And then near the very end, I just added some chopped cherry tomatoes and cooked it for about another minute. And then I just plated it up with some extra tomatoes, some spinach, then I added some extra coconut bacon and I served it with ketchup on top. These mini banana bread loaves are so cute, I could actually cry. So the first thing you need is four bananas. Make sure they're really ripe, and you're just going to mash them until they are super, super mashed with not a lot of lumps. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of melted coconut oil, a third of a cup of sugar, a splash of vanilla extract, a cup and three quarters of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and just stir that all together until it is all combined. And this is going to be a really thick batter, especially after it sits for a few minutes. And then this is the little mini loaf pan I used. I just found it at like a kitchen and homeware store, um, but you could definitely find them on Amazon. It's just called a mini loaf pan. And then I just dispersed all of the batter into each of them, and this made eight mini loaves. And then you just want to smooth it out a little bit and put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. 
and then when they're done they're just these perfect and adorable cute little mini loaves and they're just a nice alternative to a regular old muffin. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try out these recipes. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Liv's Healthy Life. And don't forget, if you want to download Vegan Amino, the link is in the description and my name on there is Liv's Healthy Life. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.